Hey, it's Carrie from the Lifehack Method, and I was just wondering if you've ever wanted to learn how to use Google Calendar to improve your productivity. That's a great question, and I'm gonna be sharing eight little known tips for using Google Calendar today. And to make sure you never miss out on our short videos that answer all your burning productivity questions, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. So I use Google Calendar to understand where all my 168 hours of my week are going. This is my time supply. So that also means I try to plan out all those hours on my calendar with lots of flex time, of course. Now this one thing is huge for my clients' productivity because it shows them their real time availability and it helps them not overcommit. So to make that planning easier, I color code my time blocks. This is tip number one. Meetings where I have to be live at a certain time and place are yellow, and time spent preparing and eating food is purple. Now, don't go too crazy with the colors, just choose like three to four to prevent visual overload. Believe me, I've tried it, it has so many colors, but it just becomes this visual rainbow that's very difficult to maintain. <laughs> A cool new feature on Google Calendar is called Time Insights. This is tip number two, and it gives you data on how much time you're spending according to the color code of those time blocks. And if you click More Insights, you're gonna see an option to even label your colors too. So I love this feature. My clients use this to make tweaks to their weekly schedule and make sure that they're carving out enough time each week for their deep work. My third tip is to schedule meetings with yourself. A lot of folks are only putting meetings on their calendar when it's with other people. This is a big, big mistake. In fact, most of my time blocks are just meetings with myself for deep work, shallow work, flex time, whatever. You can use the focus time feature built into Google Calendar if you find people constantly scheduling with you during those work blocks. So it's going to send a decline message to them automatically saying, hey, I'm in a focused work block right now. Tip number four is to use calendar layers. Having more than one calendar allows you to toggle them on and off to see them layered on top of one another or just independently. You can add as many new calendars for yourself as you want down here under other calendars. You can also share access to your calendar with other people. So you see here, I can toggle Demir's calendar on and off without having to ask him about what he has on his schedule today. I highly recommend creating a calendar for each of your kids or for various parts of your business. So here I have a calendar created for our business email newsletter schedule, which is super helpful for me and my team to see. You can also add other publicly available calendars, my favorite of which are the holiday calendars. I have ones for US holidays, Colombian holidays, even Jewish holidays, so I can easily see at a glance what holidays are coming up. I can't tell you how many times I used to schedule really important calls the Friday before a holiday weekend. Guess how good attendance was on those calls. Eh. My next tip is to set two time zones. So right now I can see the time in Colombia where I'm located as well as Eastern time. Is it just me or can things like daylight savings time seriously mess with your brain? So having those two time zones available to you, especially if you travel a lot or you have clients in a different time zone, this is super helpful to double check at a glance what time it is across the globe when you're scheduling a meeting. You can enable a secondary time zone under settings, and you can also enable the world clock to see many more time zones. Tip number seven is to set an out of office alert when you're not working. So you can set this to be sent to folks who try to schedule outside your working hours, which you can set up under settings, or you can create a one time out of office alert for events like vacations. You can do that by going to create and then selecting out of office. I'll link to a detailed guide on how to set this up in the description. And tip number eight is to set your working location. This is such a helpful feature if you spend some days working from home and some from the office so that your teammates don't have to ask you where you are. So you can set this up by going to create and then working location. If you're ready to learn how to use Google Calendar and a whole suite of productivity apps to optimize your workflow and defend your time, I'll extend an invite for you to join us and our clients in Lifehack Tribe. We're accepting new members right now Join today and I hope to see you on a live training where we dive deeper into our productivity systems. 
All right, folks, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you next time.